Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on wind turbine. So first I will read what is the given problem. A 40 meter diameter 3 bladed wind turbine produces 700 kilowatt at a wind speed of 14 meter per second. Air density 1.225 kilogram per meter cube. Find first the rotational speed of rotor at tip speed ratio 5. Second, what is the tip speed in meter per second? Third, if the generator turns at 1800 rpm, what gear ratio is needed to match the rotor speed to the generator speed? So this was the given question. Let us first understand what is the given data and which factors we have to find out. So if we observe the diameter of wind turbine is given 40 meter. Then the number of blades is 3. Energy produced by turbine 700 kilowatt, wind speed 14 meter per second, air density 1.225 kilogram per meter cube and tip speed ratio 5. And for this tip speed ratio we have to find out what is the tip speed in meter per second and the rotational speed of rotor in RPM that is the rotational speed in revolution per minute for this rotor. Then the number of rotations of generator is given that is 1800 rpm. So here 1800 revolution per minute that is the number of rotations and we have to find out what is the gear ratio. Now we will move for the first question that means we have to find out what is the tip speed in meter per second and the rotational speed of rotor that is in revolution per minute and here the tip speed ratio that is lambda is given so what is the notation for this tip speed ratio that is lambda so first we will find out what is the formula for this tip speed ratio lambda so Lambda is equal to tangential velocity of rotor tip divided by wind velocity. Now why it is called as tangential velocity? So tangential velocity is the linear velocity and its a unit is in meter per second. And here the wind velocity is also in meter per second. So this meter per second and this meter per second is getting cancelled and we will get what is the tip speed ratio. So here is the tangential velocity that is the tangential will because here the rotor rotates in the circular motion and that's why there is the angular motion but we are going to calculate the tangential velocity that is v in meter per second so what is the relation in between this linear velocity and angular velocity so we know that the v is equal to r omega that is r is the radius for that circular motion and omega is the angular velocity so we have to use this relation now when we write here lambda is equal to tangential velocity of rotor tip we will say here vt and the wind velocity that is v so the notation for wind velocity is v so vt that is it is the linear velocity so what is the relation v is equal to r omega so we have to write here r omega by v so this is our formula and we will write here therefore lambda is equal to r omega by v so how we can write this here we will write here that is omega is equal to lambda v by r so here the tip speed ratio that is lambda is given then here is the wind speed that is wind velocity we will say capital V that is also given and what is the R. So if we observe diameter of the wind turbine is 40 meter. So what is the R? So R is equal to therefore R is equal to 20 meter. So from this value we can calculate this and we will find out what is the angular velocity omega so omega is equal to 3.5 rad per second so its a unit is radians per second because it is the angular velocity now what is the question that we have to find out the rotational speed of rotor so here the velo angular velocity is given so what is the speed that is the rotational speed of rotor in revolution per minute that means we have to find out how many revolutions are there in one minute so how to find out so 
we know that what is the omega so omega is equal to 2 pi n by 60 so here omega is in rad per second a n is in revolution per minute and here is the 60 so here when we put the value of omega in this formula we will get the value of n that is the rotational speed of the rotor in revolution per minute so this formula is important therefore n rotor is equal to omega into 60 divided by 2 pi so here in the calculator pi is directly there if we press here the shift and this bottom button there is the pi we can directly take into the calculation so when we put all the values we will get the n rotor that is the revolution of the rotational speed of the rotor 33.42 rpm that is 33.42 revolution per minute so this is the answer that is the rotational speed of the rotor so i am making bracket for this now the next is tip speed so what is the tip speed so tip speed that is the speed in meter per second so here the unit is meter per second that is given in the question that we have to find out so tip speed so we know the relation here is the velocity of rotor tip that is the tip speed v is equal to r omega and r is given and omega we have calculated so here simply 3.5 that is omega multiplied by r that is 20 so here is 70 meter per second so this is also the answer so i am making bracket for this now we will move for the next that is the number of rotations of generator that is given 1800 rpm and we have to find out the gear ratio so what is the formula for this gear box ratio so gear box ratio is equal to number of rotations of this generator divided by number of rotations of the rotor so it is the ratio in between the number of rotations or the number of revolutions we can say then for the generator and rotor so this ratio generator to the rotor so what is the number of rotations now we have to check for the unit so here the unit is revolution per minute and for the rotor that we have find out here is also the unit in revolution per minute so no need to change so we will take here 1800 divided by 33.42 that is 53.86 so this is the answer so i am making bracket for this